Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgree in BL tonight, our very own Jamaica Stock Exchange. Advisory resignation of director here, Dr. Adrian Stokes, tendered his resignation as the director of the JSE, effective February 18th of this year, 2022. Now, future energy source company Fesco trading in their shares. Advisory done on March 9th, 2022. A connected party, no surprise here, buying up just over 14,000 shares of Fesco on the open market. The trend is your friend until Fesco breaks that. You know, look out for them. I mean, the, the buy side where this connected parties directors continues. In this case, a smaller one here, 14,000 shares and change. We're used to seeing hundreds of thousand blocks or millions of shares. Now, Salada Foods Jamaica, notice of their AGM annual general meeting coming up and a shareholder update here by Salada. Salada's AGM will be held April 7th, 2022 at 3 p.m. Now, the annual report is published as well. A cup for everyone, you know, slab dashed all over the annual report. Nice phrase there or slogan. It will be a hybrid AGM, Pegasus, as well as, you know, virtual. Now, in this Pharma Jamaica, revenue sliding, surprising here by 5% in the first quarter. In this Pharma for the first quarter ended January 31st of this year. Earnings per share EPS was actually flat at 4 cents year over year. The net profit, absolute profit for the current period was just over 50 million Jamaican, 50.2 million. Revenue for the quarter, as we mentioned, decreased actually 212.3 million Jamaican. Finance costs a bit heavy here. This is loan interest. They break that out nicely in the profit and loss for the quarter was Jamaican 15.08 million. Last up, Epic Caribbean Property Fund. You know, all the Epic companies, companies really making moves. In this case, the property fund acquiring a BPO facility or asset in Jamaica big time deal here so the property fund of Epley Caribbean goes on to state that they've been making major acquisitions or in this case recently now acquiring the 99,000 square foot purpose-built BPO facility right here off of Malines Road and it actually is ITEL's campus that will house 1400 BPO seats now including this deal ECPF, that's the Epic Caribbean Property Fund, now has 17 buildings in total across the Caribbean that spans Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados, comprising over 874,000 square feet. Clearly, it's just a matter of time before they hit a million square feet or more. I'm Mark Crossgree. This is Business Live.